back to my channel again today i'm very very excited that i have created this beautiful look for you guys i have received so much love and support by my beauties so i was like you know what i cannot ignore this you guys asked for a tutorial i gave it to you guys and it's just so easy so fun to create you just have to be very patient with this because it does take time to like do a lot of blending and to create a look for the eyes it just the eye takes a lot of time but it is so fun so i just hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and without rambling without further ado let's get into the video i have done one eye off camera and the eyebrows and then i'll show you how i do the other side to save some time so this is how it looks, this is what we're creating. Just please ignore the background noise. That made it like, please just get out of my video. So annoying. Any hoozies. What I do first is I take sticky tape. I take sticky tape and I just sticky tape it to the um, shape that I want. So today I'm going for kind of lifted and cut eye look. So I'm gonna have my sticky tape just really nice and up some days i do feel like i want to do my eyeshadow straight so i do stick this like straight but because we're going for that lifted cat smoky look we will be sticky taping this upwards so what i always do first is i just do that on my hands so it's not too sticky for your eyes because our eyes are very sensitive so i'm going to do that and i'm going to stick that where i'm actually satisfied Always make sure that they look even. So I'm going to grab my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm going to use that for my base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve under my eyebrows and then I'm just going to apply concealer all over my lid for the eyeshadow base that we're going to do today. So I'm just going to apply that on my lid. Then using my big brush, I'm just going to spread spread that out. Now using the light shade from this palette, I'm going to set my eyes. Using my Jocelyn Hill palette, I'm going to be using the yellow shade from that first for our transition. So I'm placing that right at the top here. We just want to place this here near like the brow bone so we're going to be adding mostly on in this area as well and we're just going to blend 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 i got this fenty beauty brush cleaning thing it's not like it doesn't clean up fully but you just get your brush and you just rub it and it just takes off whatever shade that you used on that brush so it's clean for the next one it's really cool it doesn't take off all the shades like for example a brush cleaner does but it does remove the shade that you use so you can use like another shade on top of it so next we are going in with the second shade that is next to the yellow i'm just going to place that where my crease is like where you normally add your transition color we're just going to build up the color from lightest to darkest Now going in with this much darker brown shade, I'm going to use that to kind of deepen up my crease. So I'm going to get that and I'm just going to place that where I applied my other crease shades. Just build up the darkness as much as you want, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm just going to build it up until I am satisfied with the darkness. Now using this dark brown from this palette, I'm going to use that to kind of darken up my crease. I'm going to place that right below all the transition colours I've applied because we don't want to mix all the colours. We just want to make it look like as if it's darkest to lightest. I mean lightest to darkest. I'm going to build that up until I really like that. We are cutting this crease so that's why it's good to build up the darkness a lot because when we cut the crease and we add other shades we want that dark edge to show if it's too light you won't be able to see it and it will look like all just like one color it won't even look like a cut crease i'm grabbing that orange 
brand new shade again and I'm just going to apply that right here and I'm just going to blend as I go very softly so there's no harsh edges now going in with the yellow mustardy color I'm going to apply that on top of that shade I'm just going to apply that just right here to kind of blend that brown shade that we just added before we go in with the black shadow, I'm going to be adding one more dark brown shade in the crease area to kind of deepen it up. And so that way when we add the black shade, it doesn't look harsh. I'm going to go in with the black shadow from that palette. I'm just going to add that in the crease area to kind of make it really nice and dark. To kind of blend the black, we're going to go in with the orange shade again from that palette. I'm just going to apply that just right here. So it kind of blends the black out. Grabbing that orangey browny shade again, I'm going to be applying that right here. We're just going to add brown and then we're going to add black so that way both colors look blended. Now going with the black shadow again from the same palette, I'm going to add that just in the outer area of my eyes. I'm going to be adding nice shimmery shade under my eyebrows to kind of give it some highlight. I'm going to be using the KKW Beauty eyeshadow and we're going to use the first shade. And I'm just going to apply that just right under my eyebrows. I also add shimmer right at the beginning of my eyebrows as well underneath it. So using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again in the shade Fair. So with cutting your crease, we're going to be looking a bit down, close to the mirror. And then we're going to cut the desired shape that we want. And then we will look straight to see if we like it or not. And then we'll go from there. Always lift your eyebrows as well while you're doing this. So you can get a lift and see where you want to place the concealer. See, now that I look straight, it's just not even or like where I want it to be. I'm going to add it higher and higher to my liking and we're going to stop when we're actually happy with the crease. I'm going to use the shadow Decade from the KKW eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use that to set my eyes. I'm going to use the James Charles palette from Morphe, the Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. We're going to be using that yellow in the first portion of our eyes, just right here. We're not going to go all in. The orange shade that I'll be going in is from this palette. I'm going to be using the orange shade to kind of add the orange on the lid. So using that orange shade, we're just going to add that in the center of our eyes. So pigmented. I love that palette. So the red shade, I'm going to be going in with the James Charles palette. This has such a beautiful red color and I'm just going to apply that just right at the end here. I'm going to pat these colors in because you get more pigment put on your eyes by just patting instead of just dragging it because when you drag shadows sometimes they just don't give you the pigment that you want 
Now we're going to go in with the black shadow to kind of blend everything in and then we're going to do our I'm eyeliner. apply that just right here at the end. Before I go in with my liner, I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow again in the areas where I added the mustardy colour. So this time, the yellow shade that I'm going to be using is from the James Charles palette because it's really nice and yellow and bright. I'm just going to add that right where I applied the yellow before. The first yellow I use is not that bright, so that's why I'm just going in with the James Charles one. The eyeliner I'm going to be using is the one from Maybelline. It has such a funny shape to it, but I really love this eyeliner. I'm just going to draw a thick wing around here. To do my eyeliners, I always draw the tail and I just drag from the tip. I drag it in the center of my eyes. I'm not going to talk because I do not want to wreck this eyeliner. So that's the eyeliner. Now that we're done with that, we're going to add the gold glitter that I have similar on this eye. This is the most exciting part and also the scary part because once you wreck it, it actually can get ruined and your whole look will be just finished. So you need to be very, very careful using this. I'm going to be using this gel liner from Morphe. It's called Lit AF. Such a beautiful yellow shiny gel liner. I love this because it just doesn't go anywhere. It's waterproof, I think. Using a thin brush, just grab it. It is a bit hard using this because it is really chunky. So you need to be very, very careful with this. If you use too less, it's not. It's going to go in very, very hard. But if you use a lot, it glides on really, really easy. But you just have to be careful that you don't get too much. So first I'm going to go in from the front of my cut crease and I'm not going to speak because I don't want it to get wrecked. It is really chunky to work with but you just need to be very careful um, but it's just such a beautiful okay. shade. After 10 years, finally I'm satisfied with the gold liner that I did. Now we're going to go with the other gold liner on top of our black eyeliner. So for the top one, you just follow the top line of your eyeliner, which is really easy. The part where it's really hard is in the crease area. So with the crease area, you do the gold, you follow the cut crease that you cut, you go above it. And then when you get here, you just freestyle it just, and just do a flick here. And then we're going to connect that one to our eyeliner. And we're going to stop right in the center here this part it's okay to mess it up because we will get an eyeliner and we're going to clean that out i'm going to be using the hyper sharp eyeliner from maybelline my favorite i love the tip of this really 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 nice so i'm going to go and clean the eyeliner so now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to do my eyebrows and then we're going to do our lashes. For eyebrows, I'll be using the Mellow Cosmetics Eyebrow Pomade in Chocolate. So first, I always draw the tail of my eyebrows. I do the bottom and then I just do the top. So I want my eyebrows to be more lifted and really dark today. We're not going to do a feather look as I always do. So today it's going to be really, really precise and very dark. Now I'm going to do the bottom. So using my spoolie, I'm just going to blend my eyebrows. 
Now that I'm done with my eyebrows, I'm going to take this sticky tape off. It's so satisfying when you have to take them off. Like, it's just so fun. Okay, we're just going to take that out very slowly. I just love using sticky tapes. I'm going to put it in my eyelashes and my mascara and I'll be right back. So priming my face, I'll be using a moisturizer. I love moisturizers. Like, I'm actually not a primer person. I love using moisturizers. So I'm just going to apply that everywhere. I just love moisturizer. Makes a face feel so good. One eternity later. Stop it. Get some help. I'll be going in with the Fenty Foundation in the shade 210, 210. Just used two pumps of that. I applied it with my fingers all over my face and I'm using a thick dense brush. I'm just gonna apply that everywhere. Now that I've done my foundation, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tapes Concealer again in Fair. I'm just going to apply a little bit because not too much because this is very bright on the nose and just here. I'm going to go in with my translucent powder and I'm going to set my under eyes. I'm not going to be setting my whole face. I'm just going to do my under eyes and where I applied concealer. Because the foundation that I have on is kind of matte. So with matte foundations, I usually don't like setting my whole face. For bronzer, I used the Tarte Bronzer. I'm going to use my angled brush from Morphe and I'm just going to apply that in the hollows of my cheekbones. I like my face to be lifted so I always add from here above. I don't add it down here because you're going to make your face look bigger and it will look droopy. So it's good to apply your bronzer above so it gives you like a nice lift as well. I'm going to do that on the edges of my forehead. Apply that bronzer right here because I just want to shape my nose to make it look slim. I'm going to use song under my lips. For blush, I'm using the Revolution Blush Palette. I'm going to be using this really nice, beautiful pink shade. Usually I love mixing my blushes, but today we're just going to stick to one shade. I'm going to apply that above my bronzer. I get asked a lot where you should be applying your blush. With blush, you always have to apply it on your cheeks. Um, do not mix the blush and the bronzer. So the bronzer and the contour go around here in the hollows of your cheekbones. And the blush goes on top of the bone where your cheeks are. So that's where the blush goes. Never forget the nose and the chin. For highlighter, I'll be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. I love this. This is one of my favorite highlighters I always, always use. We're going to apply that highlighter above the blush. So we applied the blush on our cheekbones. Now with the highlighter, we apply it on our cheekbones on the top of it. So using that same highlighter shade, I'm going to use a little bit of that in my inner corners. Just right here. This makes it look so brighter, doesn't it? I just love that highlighter. We're done with the base. Before we set our face, I have to finish off my under eye shadow. For my under eye shadow, I'll be using the same shade I used earlier. 
I'm just going to apply that just right under my eyes. I'm going to apply that. It does look a bit scary at first, but don't worry, it's going to all come together. Because once you always add like black, it just fixes the look. So I always just apply shadow here, just a little bit below, and then we're going to use a yellow shade to blend everything. I'm going to be using that yellow shade as well from the and same I'm just color. Going to blend that with the red. Grabbing the same black shade from the James Charles palette, I'm just going to add the black right here. Now that we just blended the black shadow, I'm going to go in with the white NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and we're just going to apply that under in our, um, in our waterline. Going to use the same mascara I applied on the top lashes. I'm going to apply that on the bottom lashes as well. I love this mascara. Now that we're done with our look, the last step left is to do is setting our face. To set my face, I'll be using the Morphe X Jeffree Star Refreshing Mist. The lipstick I'll be using is from Melee Cosmetics in Ibiza and the lip gloss I'll be using is from Rimmel's. It's called Crystal Clear. I love these lipsticks. They actually last all day and then they don't come off even if you eat. A little bit will come off around here, not all of them. I'm going to put on the gloss now. My favorite gloss as well. It lasts like all day. So this is the final look that I've created. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Step by step of how you do this look. I had so much fun and I just hope you guys all enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for me to do any videos, please list it in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram, so you'll mostly see me there. But yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Um, I just can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye! Is that place for us? I'm like, where's my teddy bear doing? <laughs> Bye. <Bear. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> my sister just scares me all the time and it's just so annoying because I always, I always get scared.